Well, I know it's not morning, it's 6.20 in the evening. Not my normal time, and you'll understand why. Uh, the title of the video is Huge Scare Today. Prayers Requested. Once again, I push back the videos prepared to make a special video. I won't wait till morning. My neighbor informed me late this morning that the sheriff had just posted a notice on my door. It was entitled, 24-hour final notice of eviction. Yes, this was a surprise, since an appeal has been filed with the appeals court. That should have stopped everything in its tracks, but the bank's attorney convinced the sheriff to take my home. We have been working on it all afternoon, and the appeal is now in the record. Messages have been left with the chief judge and with the deputy in charge for this area. Follow-up will occur in the morning. Please pray that this trauma will come to naught. Thank you. Indeed, it was not a fun afternoon at all. Uh, this morning I was uh, actually uh, cooking food for the next few days. Uh, it was the first time I'd actually used my oven in a while, uh, but I was cooking things, uh, you know, as I said, for the for the next four or five days ahead of time and freezing before the, 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 there was meat involved, chicken, and uh, I didn't want it to spoil, so I, I quickly cooked it up uh, because I had bought it like three days ago or something like that, and while I was sitting in the refrigerator too long. Anyway, uh, it was a total surprise when uh, I was informed of this. Uh, but then, as we investigated this afternoon, uh, I realized that the uh, that the bank's attorney had received the notices this morning, and they jumped on it right away because it wasn't yet entered in the court records. They hadn't filed they, it was filed with the court, but they hadn't entered it in the records, uh, recorded it. In other and because it was left unrecorded, the bank took advantage of that gap and and jumped in and moved the, moved the sheriff to take the property. Uh, I do, as I said in the blurb, believe that ultimately, when all the facts come out, the chief judge uh, gets the message uh, that was left with his assistant earlier today and the sheriff deputy who also got the message earlier today. When they're contacted tomorrow, they will see the error and, and correct it. Uh, but let me tell you, it was not a fun day for me. Uh, I not only called my attorney first thing, uh, I was really happy that she was somewhat feeling better and she was able to jump on it right away. Uh, and she told me, you know, uh, don't, don't do anything till we determine what's going on. And so that's why I, I was ready to make a video right away. And she said, don't. And so we've, uh, we've now learned some things and, and have some answers that uh, allow me to make the video and, uh, and again, ask for prayers. I know a lot, of, a lot of my friends don't understand why I'm fighting for my home. To them, just let it go and, and let, God, let God take you somewhere else. I've, I've heard that from family and friends, not just now, but a long time. I, I, you know, just trust God to do the right thing. But the right thing to me in this whole instance is standing up for justice and for truth. And this thing never went to trial. There was, there was hearings, but not hearings that allowed me to present, to present the evidence in a, in a way that you would be able to do in a courtroom. And, the idea of a trial by jury, they're taking something that's, that's more valuable than $20. So I have a right to a jury trial. I have a right to let a jury of my peers hear me present my side of the story and not let the bank run roughshod over the whole situation. And I will keep saying that because it's the truth. Our courts are criminal operations unfortunately, uh, and yet not everybody that works in the courts understands that, 
it is what they've been taught. Even even many of the er younger attorneys don't have all the information because it's not given to them in law school. In fact, probably most of them don't get it unless they get very high up in the in the judges' ranks, like on the Supreme Court or the or a state Supreme Court or something like that. Maybe even the appeals court. Uh, I would hope that p people at those higher levels. Uh, some of them, at least, have a, a, a better sense of, of rights and wrongs and understand that corporations ha uh, don't have rights, but we're not corporations. We're human beings. And I think I, that's one of my, is that one of, I, I don't know. One of the messages that I uh, either I've already given or have prepared talks about uh, taking back our, our natural rights. Uh, as human beings. Uh, I think that's actually going to be a couple of days from now, if I'm not mistaken. But in any case, I really do need prayers and support. One of my one of my friends offered to come over and help me move stuff out into storage, but my storage, I don't have a lot of storage area left. Uh, and I don't have the strength. My feet are still not not where I'd like them to be, as I've said in I think it was one of the other videos recently. My right foot is numb. I mean, I could not. I, I still walk with a limp much of the time. Uh, I could not run if I tried. I don't have stability. And as far as moving things, uh, even if somebody said, we'll rent another storage unit. Well, first of all, they're very expensive. $100 plus tax a month. And that's a cheap one. That's an inexpensive one. Uh, some of them are, are even more than that. Uh, but anyway, there's a, there's a lot of issues that have to be resolved, and this is a rush video, uh, and again, the, the primary purpose is to notify you of what's going on and to ask for prayers, and those of you that are able to support in some way, uh, that would also be appreciated. Uh, again, thank you for listening, and namaste.